What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a very exciting video. As some of you may know, in the next 30 days, I'm gonna be taking part with Sam from Seen Through Glass on the Modball European Rally 2016. It starts on the 26th of June at Pall Mall and we drive to Paris, Lyon, Monaco, Barcelona and Valencia. With over 1,500 miles to cover in less than a week, I thought that it would be a good opportunity to come down to Southern Sky Motors and test out very specific cars that they have got in stock at the moment and try and come up with the perfect supercar or car package to do a supercar rally in. Right now their stock list is incredibly colourful so let's check out what they've got and then go for a drive in some of the cars before coming together with the perfect package and I want you guys to comment below on what you think is the best car for a supercar rally. Number one on the agenda is going to be from the convertible range, a Porsche 911 Turbo Gen 2 red brake calipers. This should be fun. I've never driven a Porsche Turbo before and definitely not expecting to drive a convertible today. But because the weather is so fantastic and the route on Modball takes us down through the centre of Europe, this car should be a definite contender. So let's jump in and uh, set the GoPro angle up correctly so that Grant <laughs> isn't in the frame. <laughs> Right, okay, so I am behind the wheel of the Porsche. Oh, we put it in there, like that. And this is Grant, everyone. And you do actually <laughs> talk. I do talk, but <laughs> a normal cab. Good afternoon. Uh. So each section of this video of driving a totally different car to the one before is gonna be a relatively short trip and a relatively short test, but it is all about getting an overall well-rounded opinion on what could potentially be the perfect car for Modball. And because Grant works for Southern Sky, you've driven some pretty epic cars in your time. I have. And I suppose it'd be good to actually have a discussion rather than not think that you're on camera <laughs> from the Aventador SV, which, um, yeah, unfortunately did the rounds not only in your office, but yeah. I think quite a few people's offices. Yeah, <laughs> pulled apart for that one. <laughs> Deserved. Deservedly. Deservedly pulled apart. Well, again, it was it was partly my fault as well because I didn't even know whether um, you were in the shot or not. So, at low speeds, this car is quiet. It's quite easy to drive. And as a lot of people know, and from seeing so many Porsches on the road, this is just such a popular car to have as a daily sports car, a usable supercar. And being a Gen 2, it doesn't have all of the, the latest modern technologies that you get from the new, new one, but you still get a ton of power, a ton of speed, and actually quite a lot of stuff. This is a quite a highly spec car. Yep. And it's obviously roofless as well, so hopefully you guys can hear me, because the last time that I did a video on a convertible was the Hurricane Spider, and the audio was a little bit off, so fingers crossed, you can hear me. So I suppose what convertibles have over any of the other cars that we're gonna test in this video is the fact that you are completely open to the elements, you get that sense of speed so much more than you do in a hard top, because your hair is all over the place, the, the sort of wind within the car, again, is is pretty crazy. And I suppose when you're flat out, you just, you, everything is enhanced. Everything is enhanced. Let's stick it into manual now. I want to see how fast the turbo is. Can we put it into manual? Here we go. You definitely can't hear anything. <laughs> I don't even know what gear I mean. <laughs> oh wow. I tell you what, the warmer the engine gets, the nicer the, the, uh, the engine sounds. From the outside, I've never been a big fan of Porsches. Filming cars in London, 
Porsches just don't stand up to the Ferraris and the Lambos. And they are that little bit understated. And, and like you were saying, that there's no sense of occasion. There's no pantomime about this car. It does everything meticulously. Um, very Germanic. Yeah, very, yeah, very Germanic. And actually, but totally different to my AMG GTS. Yeah, yeah, hugely. Totally different. You can use it every day. Unfortunately, you can't use the back seats, even though there are seats. <laughs> yeah, you, um, you've got to have no legs, like the majority of these two plus twos. But as, a, as an everyday sports car, this car is perfect. And you can also have it as a Sunday drive. What I will take from this drive is that a convertible is a good shout to drive across Europe in. Very much. Convertible is a good shout, um, but maybe not a Porsche Turbo. So let's head back to Southern Sky and take out something a little bit more exciting that brings pantomime with the name of that car. So let's go back and I suppose get something a little bit yellow. So we are jumping from the convertible range to an out and out supercar and whether this would be a good car to do the Mod Ball Rally in. Car number two, Lamborghini LP560, bringing back very recent memories actually of my car and first things first the seat is definitely not as comfy as that Porsche this is supposed to be quite loud it's not quite as loud as your one was it's not quite as loud however it's a really nice it's a really nice sound to it it, it just enhances the stock sound which I always felt needed enhancing yeah. from, from the word go and being bright yellow this car already is making my hair stand up because it's just it's exactly what a supercar should be some imperfections make this car pretty perfect and to uh i'm going to immediately put it into sport actually because it just quickens up the gear changes <laughs> this sounds good it sounds really good so now we're in an out and out supercar. I'm gonna try and work out whether is this the right sort of car that we take on the Mod Ball Rally. Now I know from ownership experience that this car is actually quite uncomfortable on long distances. So maybe not the Lamborghini Gallardo, but the whole idea of this car, a mid-engine supercar, can be four-wheel drive, can be rear-wheel drive, but this this proper short wheelbase pocket rocket supercar package could be the right car that we take on the Mod Ball Rally. Oh, and this exhaust system is pretty special. Is it? It's Quicksilver. Yeah. So this has got a Quicksilver back box, which definitely adds to the whole pantomime of this car. The oh. Oh, the power delivery is totally different to the Porsche. Oh, and it's bright yellow. Wow. Vibrates the whole car. It literally vibrates the whole car. Not quite as loud as your old one, but it's, it's a good noise. I don't know. Good noise. It is a really good noise. I'm going to open a window a little bit because... Colourful. If it's, if it's got a great colour to it, it's going to turn heads. 
it's got the right amount of power that you need and maybe it's going to be a little bit better on the long distance drive so let's see what we can find back at Southern Sky it's been good to get behind the wheel of this car again as short as it is let's move on to the next car well I'm not sure Thursdays get too much better than what I'm currently experiencing. We are on the hunt for the perfect package to do Modball Rally in. Whoa! Oh, 